साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्यदेवाय धीमहि तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात् ओम साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्यदेवाय धीमहि तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात् ओम साईश्वराय विद्महे सत्यदेवाय धीमहि तन्न सर्व प्रचोदयात् जय 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 गणपति देवा जय 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 गणपति देवा जय 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 गणपति देवा जय 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 गणपति देवा जय 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 गणपति देवा Baba 
विद्यादायक गुरु बाबा विद्यादायक गुरु बाबा शांत स्वरूपा गुरु बाबा शांत स्वरूपा गुरु बाबा गुरुवर गुरुवर गुरु बाबा जगदीश्वरी दया करो माँ जगदीश्वरी दया करो माँ जगदीश्वरी दया करो माँ जगदीश्वरी दया करो माँ शिव शंकरी कृपा करो माँ शिव शंकरी कृपा करो माँ शिव शंकरी कृपा करो करो म 
ಮಾರುತಿ ಗಂಭೀರ ಮಾರುತಿ ಮಾರುತಿ ಗಂಭೀರ ಮಾರುತಿ ಧೀರ ಮಾರುತಿ ಅತಿ ಧೀರ ಮಾರುತಿ ಧೀರ ಮಾರುತಿ ಅತಿ ಧೀರ ಮಾರುತಿ ವೀರ ಮಾರುತಿ ಗಂಭೀರ ಮಾರುತಿ ಮಾರುತಿ ಗಂಭೀರ ಮಾರುತಿ ಗೀತ ಮಾರುತಿ ಸಂಗೀತ ಮಾರುತಿ ಗೀತ ಮಾರುತಿ ಸಂಗೀತ ಮಾರುತಿ ದೂತ ಮಾರುತಿ ರಾಮ ದೂತ ಮಾರುತಿ ದೂತ ಮಾರುತಿ ರಾಮ ದೂತ ಮಾರುತಿ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ ದೂತ ಮಾರುತಿ ಶ್ರೀರಾಮ ದೂತ ಮಾರುತಿ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಗಾಯೇ ರೇ ಭಜೋ ರಾಧೆ ಗೋಪಾಲ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಗಾಯಿಂದ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಗಾಯೇ ಭಜೋ ರಾಧೆ ಗೋಪಾಲ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಗಾಯೇ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಗಾಯೇ ರೇ ಭಜೋ ರಾಧೆ ಗೋಪಾಲ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಗಾಯೇ ಮುರಳಿ ಮನೋಹರ ಗಾಯೇ ರೆ ಭಜು ನಂದ ಕೆ ಲಾಲ ಪ್ರಭು ಗಾಯೇ ಮುರಳಿ ಮನೋಹರ ಗಾಯೇ ಭಜು ನಂದ ಕೆ ಲಾಲ ಪ್ರಭು ಗಾಯೇ ಮುರಳಿ ಮನೋಹರ ಗಾಯೇ ರೆ ಭಜು ನಂದ ಕೆ ಲಾಲ ಪ್ರಭು ಗಾಯೇ ಪ್ರಭು ಗಾಯೇ ಗಿರಿಧಾರಿ ಗಾಯೇ ಮಾಯ ಮೀರಾ ಕೆ ನಾಥ ಪ್ರಭು ಗಾಯೇ ಗಿರಿಧಾರಿ ಗಿರಿಧಾರಿ ಗಾಯೇ ರೆ ಮಾಯ ಮೀರಾ ಕೆ ನಾಥ ಪ್ರಭು ಗಾಯೇ ಪ್ರಭು ಗಾಯೇ ಗಿರಿ ಗಿರಿ ಧಾರಿ ಗಿರಿ ಧಾರಿ ಗಾಯೇ ಮಾಯಿ ಮೀರಾ ಕೆ ನಾಥ ಪ್ರಭು ಗಾಯೇ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಗಾಯೇ ರೆ ಭಜು ರಾಧೆ ಗೋಪಾಲ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಗಾಯೇ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಗೋವಿಂದ ಗಾಯೇ ರೆ ಭಜು ರಾಧೆ ಗೋಪಾಲ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಗಾಯೇ ಮುರಳಿ ಮನೋಹರ ಗಾಯೇ ರೆ ಭಜು ನಂದ ಕೆ ಲಾಲ ಪ್ರಭು ಗಾಯೇ ಮುರಳಿ ಮನೋಹರ ಗಾಯೇ ಗಿರಿಧಾರಿ ಗಿರಿಧಾರಿ ಗಾಯೇ ರೆ ಮಾಯ ಮೀರಾ ಕೆ ನಾಥ ಪ್ರಭು ಗಾಯೇ ಗಿರಿಧಾರಿ ಗಿರಿಧಾರಿ ಗಾಯೇ ಮಾಯ ಮೀರಾ ಕೆ ನಾಥ ಪ್ರಭು ಗಾಯೇ ಗಿರಿಧಾರಿ ಗಿರಿಧಾರಿ ಗಾಯೇ ಮಾಯ ಮೀರಾ ಕೆ ನಾಥ ಪ್ರಭು ಗಾಯೇ ಪ್ರಭು ಗಾಯ 
सत्य भजो सत्य साई भजो हे सत्य साई भगवान सत्य भजो सत्य साई भजो हे सत्य साई भगवान सत्य भजो सत्य साई भजो हे सत्य साई भगवान सत्य भजो सत्य साई भजो हे सत्य साई भगवान अल्लाह भजो मौला भजो हे अल्लाह साई भगवान विठला हरि विठला
शंकर महादेवा हर हर शंकर महादेवा
every festival is celebrated with great enthusiasm in Prashanti Nilayam. But among these festivals, Shivaratri is something very special. Why is it so? You will know shortly. Shivaratri has attracted large crowds to Prashanti Nilay. People come not only from all over India but from all parts of the world too. exactly is meant by Shivratri and why is so much importance given to it? Baba has explained the significance. During the month, the moon waxes and wanes, taking 15 days for each process. The 13th day of the new moon and the full moon is called Trayodashi 
which is followed by the Chaturdashi. Shivaratri comes in between the Trayodashi and the Chaturdashi after the full moon. It comes on the 14th day of the dark half of the month when the moon is all but invisible, just a minute fraction remains visible to man. The moon is the presiding deity of the mind. The mind is the source of all the entangling desires and emotions. The mind is, therefore, almost powerless this day. If only this night is spent in vigil and in the presence of the Divine, it can be fully conquered and man can realize his freedom. So, every month, the 14th day of the dark half of the month is prescribed for more intense sadhana and once a year, this Mahashivaratri, the great night of Shiva, is laid down for the great consummation. Swami therefore says that vigilance this night is to be secured by sadhana, that is, by means of bhajana, or the reading of sacred texts, or listening to the reading of such text, and not by attending film shows, or gambling, or playing cards. Be engaged in seeing good, listening to good, speaking good, thinking good, doing good. That is the program for the vigil tonight. Make it also the program for your entire life. Shivaratri. Shivaratri. Is Shiva anga yebiti? Who is Shiva? Mangala kar arrangement yoke ratri Shivaratri. Shivaratri meaning auspicious night. Anaga. Shiva auspiciousness, where from you get it? It is out of one's own breath. Adi ye so hum so hum adi ye atman chhi vachne twenty. Save them. This breath stands for this word so hum that comes out of atma the cell. This is called Hamsagayatri. Ham Anagatanu. Ham means I. So Daivamu. So that God. So the inner meaning is I am God. So Ham. So Ham. Idi Waka Dinamanaku. This has been the teaching of Soham, the breath that we take 21,600 times a day. These teachings have been propagated and practiced since ancient no one should consider it as foolishness. You should not decide it as foolishness. In fact, that will direct you to God. When this finger directs you to the flower, can you call this finger a fool? If that is foolish act, how does it? Direct you to God. So that which is shown is the flower, that which shows is the finger. Is the flower, that which shows is the finger. God is shown. The idol that directs to God. So we should not forget these idols. We should not consider them as life. There is awareness there even in this inner. Without this awareness, consciousness, there cannot be inert matter. And every atom has got this awareness. In all forms we find that power of awareness. We find this consciousness all over, smallest of the small and the biggest of the big. 
కనుకనే మనము ఏదైనా కూడా ఇది జడం అని భావించరాదు మనము సో వి షుడ్ నాట్ కన్సిడర్ ఎనీ యాస్ ఇన్ దిష్టిలో ఆ విధమైన కొద్ది జడం గాని కనిపించవచ్చును ఇట్ మైట్ బి ఇనర్ట్ ఫ్రమ్ యువర్ వ్యూ పాయింట్ కానీ బట్ వేద దిష్టి లోపల అన్ని చైతన్యమే ఫ్రమ్ వేదిక్ పార్లమెంట్స్ ఎవరీథింగ్ ఇస్ అవేర్నెస్ కనుకొని అట్టి అవేర్నెస్ అనేటువంటి ఒక శక్తిని మనము మనం విస్మరించటము చాలా పొరపాటు ఇట్స్ అ బిగ్ మిస్టేక్ టు ఫర్గెట్ దట్ అవేర్నెస్ కానా సో ఈ సత్యాన్ని మనం గుర్తించకుండా రెండు దోషములు మనకు వెంటాడుతూ ఉంటుంటాయి వి డోంట్ రికగ్నైజ్ దిస్ బేసిక్ ట్రూత్ అండ్ వి ఆర్ కమిటింగ్ టు మిస్టేక్స్ రెండు దోషములు వెంటాడుచుంటూ నరుని అండ్ దిస్ టు మిస్టేక్స్ వన్ ఫాలోస్ ది అదర్ ఒకటి వన్ లక్షల తప్పులు తన తప్పులను తాను మర్చిపోతుంటాడు we are forgetting lakhs and lakhs of mistakes that we commit for ourselves adi okkati that one mistake dani vallane daivatvanni gnapaku rekunda chestundi that's the reason why we forget god parla anumatra doshamu pedda jeyu in fact we consider a fraction of a mistake committed by others jeyu chinna tappunu kuda nu manam peddiga bhavisthuntuntam a small mistake committed by other man why ekka dosham neeku daivatvaniki dooram chestundadi pointing to the mistakes minute mistakes in others tane endunnatundi lakshana doshanni kuda nu the innumerable mistakes in you daachi peduthuntadi and you hide them ee rendu durgunulu mana yokka hrudayam nundi teesi vesina manam nijamainatundi daiva swarupulame hiding our own mistakes and considering mistakes of others might a distance us from god yepudunu paradoshamulu maatramu yetukuntu povatam chaala parapaatu it is a big mistake to be in search of faults in others tana doshamulu taanu vetukali seek out your own fault tana chinna daina kuda nu daani pedda diga bhavinchali your fault may be so small and tiny and simple paru dosham ni kanipinchinappudiki ni daani em maatramu lekka cheyakunda chuchukovali but ignore the mistakes of others atti tyaga bhavame sadhakulu atyavasaram and that spirit of sacrifice is essential the moon waxes and wanes once every month thus there must be a shivratri every month but how come we do not celebrate each of these there is a legend for that it all started with brahma and vishnu who were arguing over their relative supremacy the vain arguments were interrupted by a super luminous glow from a strange and blazing pillar its shape reminiscent of the linga both of them sped towards this indescribable flaming light which grew before their eyes into infinity piercing the earth and extending through the heavens the two gods decided to seek the beginning and the end of this burning immensity brahma taking the form of a swan flew upwards and vishnu dove down acquiring the shape of a bow both the gods however returned exhausted at that moment the central part of the pillar split open and shiva revealed himself in his full glory thunderous laughter or the sound of om issued from the pillar filling the sky the scriptures say that strict austerities must be observed and pujas done on the morning of shivaratri in addition the devotees must fast and keep vigil throughout the night meditating intensely on lord shiva this has been the set pattern for devotees from aeons for the tens of thousands that congregate in puttaparthi every shivratri the pattern of celebration has undergone many changes from the early days however in three important aspects there are no changes the first is that there are powerful vibrations all around the nilayam during shivratri the second is that there is an all night vigil through bhajan singing The 
the third is the fact that devotees experience wonderful leelas and mahimas especially during this period Where divine leelas are concerned the devotees of the olden days witnessed two major ones the first was the vibhuti abhishekam baba would start with water abhishekam for the silver idol of shirdi baba in the mandir in prashanti nilayam After this an empty pot would be held upside down over the silver idol here we see swami karunyananda and then the late shri kasturi holding the pot when the empty pot was held over the idol devotees would sing bhajans baba would put one hand inside the pot and twirl vibhuti would begin to pour out as long as his hand was inside When he took it out it would cease instantly and then the torrential flow would resume as he put his other hand inside A huge heap of vibhuti would be collected and later baba would lovingly distributed among the devotees that had gathered As the late Sri Kasturi put it, since 1950, Shivaratri has been celebrated in Puttaparthi, and each year since the declaration of the manifestation, lingams have materialized within his body. Baba has said that he often finds it difficult to postpone or prevent the formation of lingams within him. Baba gives darshan during the evening, and then begins his discourse. In between there are spasmodic struggles in the stomach. He continues the discourse until the region of the struggle shifts to the upper part of the chest and the neck. He seems to be undergoing some sort of a physical tension. And suddenly, to the joyous wonder of all, lingams fall from his mouth.
the lingams that emanate on successive shivaratris differ in number, size and composition. The frenzy and excitement to witness this spectacle was such that Swami discontinued the Lingod Bhavan, that is till the year 1999 when he restarted the divine phenomenon. In the earlier years, the lingams were of various types. Spatika lingam, Prithvi lingam and Jyotir lingam. From 1999 onwards, it has been the Hiranyagarbha lingam, a golden egg shaped object that symbolizes the cosmic womb from which the entire creation has emanated. Therefore these metals are not separately brought in. God is Hiranyagarbha. And the whole of the abdominal part of the divine is Hiranyagarbha. Therefore all the essence is centered around this Hiranyagarbha. This is called Linga. Lingam means a sign, symbol. A symbol, a sign. It has no face, eye, or anything. You cannot say this is the hand, that's the leg. This can be turned upside down. What is the head? Where are the feet? The formless one is Linga. Linga means the poor place of Marja. This is the goal. This Marja. Therefore, Linga is the substratum for everything. As this Linga is formed, it just comes out. To melt it, you need fire, heat. It is a fire that melts it and molds it into linga form. And it is the pain that you find as it emanates, as it comes out. It is a linga that melts it and molds it it has to assume the form of linga and come out. And we can consider that Swami is suffering the pain because of the And we consider that Swami is suffering the pain because of the emergence of linga. It is not a pain. It is not bodha. It is not bodha pain, but it is bodha teaching. Tali twenty the child, in order to come out of the womb of the mother, the mother has to suffer. The mother will never feel bad because of the suffering she has at the time of death. And she wishes that the child should be good. Similarly, as the lingam emerges, emerges no Bhagavan will never consider it painful. Bhagavan is so happy that he is passing on Bodha, the teaching. This is reflection, reaction, resound. This means reaction, reflection, and resound. So, God has no pain or suffering. No anxiety or worry. No difficulty. But men feel like that. But people feel that Swami is feeling the pain and the problem. The anticipative excitement and devotional fervor that the devotees experience in Swami's presence can never be captured. 
By way of this video, we attempt to relive and recreate the magic and spiritual glory of that experience. This is in the year 2002 on the 12th of March.
सत्य नारायण नारायण हो सत्य नारायण नारायण हो भगवान श्री सत्य साई बाबा जी की 